Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Thursday the 27th of May and it's that time again we have got some new mods and there are three updates, only two are showing on the website for some reason. Um, we have got Rich Ports, the map by White Ball Modding, the John Deere 8110, 8410 by JA Modding, and the Lizard 6000 by ADUB Modding, Permas Modding, Ben M Mods, ABP Team, and White Ball Modding have all had updates today. In front of me, we have got the Polish Potato Box. This is by Jelenex. 0 0.63 megabytes download, two slots on console. I say this, we've got two of them. I thought they were boxes for putting potatoes into, but it's like a seed bag, like a big bag. So you buy them with potatoes in for loading into potato planters. I don't, I haven't been able to find an empty one. So that's what I'm thinking. Under objects and big bags is where you'll find them. 500 for 600 litres. It's potatoes for refilling your sewing machines. There are no options available for colour or anything like that. You can get them like that. So I've grabbed myself a sewing machine. Um, I'm going to grab, I'm using the CSA pack, big bag handler, forks, um, but you can obviously use pallet forks and various different things, whatever you want. What should happen? I haven't tested this yet, so. There we go. Now what should happen, once it's all come out of there, the, the box should disappear. So whilst it is two slots for the first one, once the potatoes have gone out of it, it will disappear. It's no longer there and you, your potatoes are in your planter, ready to go. Like I said, you can use forks or anything like that with them. Nicely detailed. Price-wise, I suppose it's about commensurate with buying a regular seed bag. 500 for 600 litres, normally it's 900 for 1,000 litres for a standard box, so obviously it's cheaper if you use your potatoes from your previous harvest, but if you want to, you can buy those and put them into your planter. So there you go. That's the Polish Potato Box by Jelenex. Next we have this, the 2 metre chain link fence, this by Blazedew, it is 0.39 megabytes download, these are one slot each, you've got a chain link section. Now that one there is a gap because I didn't quite I thought I had it lined up but not quite. So you get one section and you get a post. Now these are very, very thin. And when I placed these initially, because the angle I was at, it only looked like I was placing posts. The wire mesh is very, very fine. So lining these up could be a pretty tricky prospect. You'll find them under placeables and decoration. The two metre fence section is 500, the post is 100, slot counts are one each. Not much else to say about that. Chain link fence, but blazed you. Moving on, we've got the small wood trailer. This is 2.46 megabytes download, four slots on console. This is by Kawa. You'll find it under forestry machines and equipment. It's actually, when I first saw it in the mod hub, I thought, oh, okay, but it's, it's not a bad size. I think you'll get, uh, these were just cut by hand, I didn't use anything in particular to cut them. But that's what I say by hand, with a chainsaw, but you know what I mean. Um, maybe four metres you might get away with, four metres on that. But yeah, it's nicely made, quite a solid construction. It does have straps, as you can see. Under tools and forestry equipment. The wood trailer is only 3,500 to buy. Slot count will go down from four to one. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette. There's your regular sort of standard colours. There's a few been added in by the modder themselves. Rim colour, same thing. Anything on that palette. Then design colour, anything on that palette. Those are your options. Straps can be done manually, or if you've got hooked up to a tractor, then you can do it. He says, come on, work. There we go. One thing I did find, I'm not quite sure why this log at this side here didn't strap down. I'm not quite sure why it didn't strap down. When I did it from inside the tractor, I was strapping down now. That's fine. It's obviously just, maybe it was a little bit just too far over. But there you go. That's the small wood trailer by Kawa. 
moving on from there to these next we've got this first this is the lizard uh alep ulep for you three meter guys out there three meter cultivator by Pushcap and Sijon, Sijon. 11.89 megabytes download, 14 slots on console. We've got a few color choices and wheel options. This does also have a three point link section on the back. So if you want to hook up a three meter cedar on behind that as well, you can cultivate and seed at the same time if your cedar doesn't have the, uh, the capability to direct drill. Um, it's three meters, you'll find it under cultivators. Farm dog loves a three meter cultivator, as you can tell. 3,300 for the base model requires 90 horsepower, we're at nine miles per hour. Like I said, it's three meters wide. Design color changes the tines and the basket and the wheels. Main color changes the frame. Warning sign, yes or no. And then we've got wheels old, wheels new or wheels with rubber cover those are the options and when you use it hopefully it should cultivate two three meters and like i said you could put something on the back of it as well if you want to there we go the lizard Ulep 3 meter by Pushcap and Sijon. Next, we have got this. This is a very nice looking bit of kit. This is the Lizard PTW 12500. This by, I'm sorry if I say it's wrong, Bass Boyer. Bo DMI 20 millimeter Normandy from the Netherlands. I'm not fantastic. 11.76 megabytes download, 16 slots on console. Now, as far as I can tell, um, this is not a slurry spreader in its own right. It doesn't give you a, a meter width. It does need to be hooked up to something else. There's a couple of things on the jigsaw puzzle piece that, that it says it will take, but any of the attachments that go on the back of slurry spreaders will work. They'll hook up and it should work. It's very nicely made and nicely detailed. There's some options for lighting. You can add some rear lighting on. Side lighting. I thought I went for all three. Yeah, side lighting. And then you go for all, and then it puts lights on there as well. So you've got lighting all over the place on it. It doesn't actually have any options for moving pipes around or anything like that. If we hook up to it, you've just got to turn on the slurry tanker, which I can, because it's full, 12,500 litres but it's not going to spread anything because it's got no attachment on the back so you do need to have something else actually let's do the lights wow that's a lot of lighting on there nice and bright though for doing any night work you need to be doing so hooking up to something else is what will make it work And there are various different drag hoses. It doesn't have to be a cultivator or anything like that. There are drag hoses, drip hoses, there's cultivators, there's all sorts of bars and things you can attach. On to the back. This you will find under slurry tanks. 55 grand to buy. Slot count will go down from 16 to 1. It requires 120 horsepower. It runs at 10 miles per hour. The, the jigsaw puzzle piece there says Zuni Disc or Catros, and obviously there are loads of others. It will take slurry or digestate. Options available. We can change the rim colour from the silver to the blue, or grey to blue. Then we've got Michelin, Trelleborg, Mitus, Standard or Wides. Back to Michelin. Work lights, Standard, Behind, which puts them on the rear bumper, sort of down that rear bar, rear bumper. Then you've got side and behind, just sort of pop on there. Then you've got full option side behind, and it puts ones under the front of the wheel arch just there as well. Then this is PTO Normal and Groot Hook. I couldn't work out what changed with that, in all honesty. 
I did have a look around as I was doing it. Now, if you're Dutch, you're going to know what that means, aren't you? But that's the slurry tanker. Those are the options. That's the Lizard PTW 12,500 by Bass Boyer. Boyer. Dear my 20 millimeter Normandy. Next, we have these. This made me smile. It's the usual, <laughs> the usual thing we have. These are Red Rock trailers. Uh, Red Rock being a trailer company out of County Armagh in Ireland. Uh, 4D modding makes really good quality mods, trailers, that kind of thing. Um, so they've done Red Lock, so they can get round the thing. But it's the same font and that kind of thing. Very nice indeed. This is the Redlock 180 12.0 trailer. 15.55 megabytes download. Seven slots on console. They do hook together if you get multiple ones, as you can see. I've got them attached together. Really nice detailing. Quite a few different options on these as well. What I even noticed, because I was looking, you've got a little bit of grass down there. You'll see in a minute there's a whole load of different options. But the decal thing as well, and even down to the manufacturer's plate underneath oh hang on got a bit too close there absolutely brilliant so you've got a standard grain cart size and then we've got some options for silage cart sides with an open mesh at the back and you know very nice under tools and trailers so 18,500 for the base model slot count will drop down from 7 to 1 we can change the rim colour to anything on that palette. There's quite a few different ones to choose from. There's mattes and chromes and all sorts. I left it on silver, but it's up to you. Main colour, we've got a few different reds there from Red Rock, and then you've got a couple of Red Rock greens, and there's Jet as well, depending on what you'd rather go for with that. So configurations, we've got the grain cart, which is 14,000 litres. That's the standard capacity for grain then you've got the silage cart silage cart will only do forage type crops wood chip and sugar cane it won't do your regular crop types once you move up to silage so 14,000 litres is the standard one then we go to 18,750 and you've got sloped to one side and then we've got sloped to one side but with a mesh door so it's the same slope but it's got a mesh door on the back then we've got straight silage which puts the sides up and increases the capacity up to 22,000 litres, which, which is the maximum capacity. And you can have that straight silage, or you can have that with the mesh door on the back as well, if you wish. Then we've got wheel brand. Zoom in a little bit on this, we can. We've got Lizard, Michelin, Nokian, Trelleborg, back. Under Lizard, we've got road tyres, FL630s, road agri tyre and back. Under Michelin, Cargo X-Bib, HD, uh, R22 fives, balloon tyres, SHA2s, back to X-Bibs, knock-ins, standard, trailer ball, we've got T404s, twin forestry, twin radial, back to T404s. Then design, it's a standard, standard and grass. Now, if you look on the back, now this will only appear if you have the silage version. Actually, on the other one, it might be that that's what's at the front. There's a little bit of grass tucked around the front. As you can see on there, you've got all these different bits. If I take that off, so it kind of gives that simulation that if you've been doing silage work, you've been hauling grass or whatever you've been doing, and it's kind of caught up in the little ridges. So you can have that if you want to. Um, you can have rope hooks that go onto the side. You can have rope hooks in grass. Then it adds an air tank. Now, I couldn't find where the air tank adds. But then you can have air tank and grass. Hooks and air tank. Hooks, air tank and grass. All back to standard, so a few different options there. Then the registration plates, if you've seen any 4D modding trailers before, there are a load. I'm not going to read through them all, but there are a load from all over Ireland. Then you've got some, you've got Northern Ireland, we've got ones for the UK, Australia, Quebec, Germany, Belgium, France, Italy. Then loads, I, mean, I'd say, I, can't, I can't read them all out. Not everyone likes to have a number plate on there, but there are plenty, so there's probably something for everyone. There is also an option not to have one, which is absolutely fine. And as I said before, they do hook together, which is very cool. 
What I'm going to do is back up, switch to the rear one, unload here. Don't be panicked if it doesn't do anything straight away. It takes a little while to get going. Nice smooth animation. Let's attach from that one. If this one unloads here, I say it's a bit of a pause. It does the catches on the back, then it will open and do its tip function. I think this does have the option for grain door as well. Pretty sure it does. There we go, tip side back, tip side grain door. There's no left or right on those. So there we go. That's the Red Lock. Red Rock 180 12.0 trailer by 4D modding. Very nice, which brings me on to the last of the mods for today, I believe. I'm just checking the mod up again, just in case. And it's this beast. This is the RYC120, which gives you a bit of a clue. This is by Rowley Christie 1 VSR Modding Sur. 12.73 megabytes download, 15 slots on console. This is 120,000 litre capacity, which I think now is the largest capacity trailer we've got on console, isn't it? I'm sure 110 was the one before. Pretty sure 110 was the largest we went up to. 120,000 litre capacity. Good thing about this one as well, it doesn't tip. It opens and comes out the back. So for any of those cow sheds and barns and stuff, if you've got a load of animals, you want a large capacity trailer that you haven't got that problem with it raising all the way up in the air, this may be the kitty for you. Very nicely made, nicely designed. Looks good. Takes pretty much everything, I think. But we'll have a look. It does have rear steer, rear axle and front axle of those three steer which helps for your turning quite a few different options available on this you'll find this under tools and trailers as well 78 grand that's all for 120,000 acre capacity yeah look it takes all that stuff down the bottom there very cool now it doesn't have a rear trailer hitch i don't think we'll, we'll double check that in a minute interestingly it comes with a lot of kind of Almost like military colour scheme with this, which is interesting when we see the cover in a moment as well. Rim colour is anything on that palette. We have got stainless steel, dark steel, aluminium, chrome, polished, gold. And then we move on to sort of various other colours. Main colour, anything on that palette, which you've got standard colours down the bottom. We've got these ones up the top here. So you've got a green new, and there's a flegal green, then a sort of a... Almost, yeah, I mean, it's the... The, uh, I would say that one there, the green U is a sort of military khaki, then the flegal brown, like, almost like a coyote brown. And then if we go to design colour, that changes the cover. Colour, like so. But then we've got cover standard or camouflage. So you can have a coloured cover. But with the coloured cover as well, you can also have um, silvers and you know chromes and things like that. But on undercover, you can change it to a camouflage one, which is interesting. I don't think I've come across a camouflage cover before. I'm not, I don't know why it's on there. And maybe from the air. Oh yeah. So you know, if you're up to something you shouldn't be, and you know, just in case there are spotters out with drones and stuff like that. Who knows? I have no idea. Um, let me just check around the back. I don't think it's got a hitch. No, so you can't daisy chain these, but in all honesty, 120,000 litres. It's not a bad size. Cover opens, L1 and left of the D-pad. It's a sliding cover. It's kind of constantines up, rolls away. And then, as you can see, the rear axle, or rear axles, front and rear of those three are turning. And then... L1, R1, and unload. Back opens. No tip. Like I say, it does make life a little bit easier depending on what it is you're unloading into, but 120,000 litres. 
That's crazy. And that's it for the mods for today. I hope you found this useful and informative. Oh, yeah, sorry. That's by Rowley Christie One. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.